So far in this series, we've talked about the IH Fast Hitch and the Alice Chalmers Snap Coupler Hitch. Today we're going to talk about another hitch that I, I think is really interesting and I, I saw it first on a VAC, uh, VAC, a long time ago. And it's called the Case Eagle Hitch. And uh, those of you who are familiar with Case tractors, you'll know that their logo or, or their mascot is a, a bald eagle. So they call it the eagle hitch. It looks like upturned eagle claws or somewhat. It's kind of a one-off of a three-point hitch. It does have a top link and it reminds me of the ball and claw hitches that you can buy now for your three-point hitch. They will take a, a cat one hitch implement, but they may or may not require a different top link. They were pretty, pretty handy, but eventually, unfortunately, Case did what everybody else did and went to the three-point hitches. That just became the universal standard. When Eagle Hitch came out initially, the patent was still in place for the three-point hitch. So people had to kind of work their way around it. So companies had to kind of work their way around it and come up with something on their own. The problem with these proprietary hitches is that it forced you, the farmer, to buy manufacturer's implements. You couldn't really mix and match. IH did have a, an adapter and whether Alice Chalmers did or not, I don't know. I know that you can buy them now. Uh, some kind of conversion as you have a conversion now for everything it seems like but at the time the thought was well let's keep the customer coming back so we design our own proprietary hitch and then they have to buy our attachments and that worked and didn't work because it yeah it made them buy uh, their company's attachments initially but unfortunately as time wore on they realized that uh, the three-point hitch was the way to go and to be honest with you, I I really don't like the three-point hitch very much. It's you always have to have some kind of a a converter or an adapter or a quick hitch or or some kind of telescoping deal because otherwise you're lifting and prying on attachments. And when you look at the early Ford videos and the and the uh, instructions on how to attach it, everything was on a perfectly flat ground, and they probably took four or five attempts before they actually hooked it up. So you can you can adjust your three-point hitch, but those of you who use three-point hitch, especially heavy attachments like plows and harrows, you can relate to how much of a pain it can be if you don't have some sort of an adapter in place. But enough of that. Today we're gonna we're gonna talk about the Eagle Hitch. I've got a lot of advertising and I'll show you the case advertising that I have. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.
you are especially interested in the adaptability of the tractor to a wide range of power jobs, such as mold board plowing or disc plowing. Adaptability to spike tooth or drag harrowing. Adaptability to windrowing grain or seed crops before combining. Pulling and driving the combine through the tractor's power takeoff. And adaptability can be determined by the application of the tractor's power at six distinct points. Point number one is quick coupling of rear mounted implements to the tractor. Here's how the Eagle Hitch provides quick coupling. The tractor is fitted with hydraulic controlled draft arms, which are also connecting points for the implements. A third connecting point holds the implement at the desired working level. Thus you have a sturdy three-point coupling for the implements, which are built with three connecting points to match. Now let's have a real close look at the connecting member on one of the lifting arms. Looks like an eagle's claw, and its grip is just as firm. It greatly simplifies changing implements. The tractor operator can quickly uncouple from one tool, and in a few minutes the tractor can be hooked to another. As the tractor is backed into position, the operator drops the draft arms with the hydraulic control lever to place the eagle claws below the hitch pins of the plow. With twin cords, the operator opens the eagle claws. And with the hydraulic control lever, hooks the claws to the implement hitch pins and drops the latches in place. Then by merely inserting a pin, he secures the third connecting point using the turnbuckle, if necessary, to line up the pinholes. The hydraulic control raises the plow for transport, and the operator is on his way to the field. The amazing simplicity of coupling the tractor to the plow is duplicated in attaching a wide range of other machines adapted to this type of construction. For its ability to work soils that are extremely loose, hard, stony, sandy, or gravelly, this disc plow is favored in many sections.
appreciate you watching today. If you haven't already, please take a moment, uh, subscribe to the channel. As always, I love to hear your comments, so please take a moment and tell me what you think. Tell me if you've experienced any of these hitches that I'm, I've been mentioning. I'll talk to you next time.